How's it going? Ghosts are all very mysterious. Um, so that's why I think we need to turn to one of the foremost experts on the subject, Nuke's Top 5, this YouTube channel that basically posts, I mean, I don't know, just like creepy, creepy videos. There's a lot of thumbnails with arrows. There's arrows here, there's arrows there. But for real, if you're not familiar with this channel, basically this guy Nuke compiles a bunch of like spooky ghost videos and he always is like very dramatic about them. You can always hear his voice is like quivering with fear shaking with fear. And this is despite the fact that they are very clearly either fake or stupid. And I don't know, I figured it would be easy content. So that's why we're here. Um, let's uh, go ahead and start and see kind of what we're dealing with. I like this one, top five scary ghost videos that will make you pitch a hissy fit. Very elaborate title, but uh, let's take a look. Already that intro has me spooked silly. I think that hand that appears is pretty scary. Um, I have a fear of hands actually, so I'm very concerned. Hopefully that was the scariest part of the video. The story goes that years ago, a married couple was living in the house. The wife descended into madness. Oh, no. Late one night in a fit of rage, she violently took her husband's life. Oh my gosh. And then she- See, did you, did you hear Nuke's voice there? Her husband's life. The intonation he had was like, there was like this valid concern to it. I feel bad. Nuke, it's all right, man. I, I mean, obviously some murder happened. Like it's not cool, but this lady, she's not going to get you. It's all, it's fine. I'm pretty sure at least. For over 10 years, no one goes near the place and it is believed that some evil presence haunts the home. Investigators Hiro and Tomo vow to spend the night. As Tomo looks around, he finds an opening into the attic. There he finds old clothes and pictures of the family that once lived there. Oh my God. Clothes? I'm sorry, I'm being a jerk, aren't I? Tomo calls Hiro to tell him what he's found, but there is something else going on that is downright chilling. Keep that in your head. Whoever writes Upworthy titles writes the scripts for Nuke's videos. He's, he's always like, this ghost, you won't believe what this ghost, what this ghost did, what this ghost did will leave you speechless. You won't believe what this ghost did. It is downright chilling. Watch very closely. Watch closely, you guys. Okay, find an attic. You can't hear him. I have a little bit of a theory here, okay? I think the one investigator who's being called on the phone, he's just like so done with this and he just like is trying to make up an excuse. Oh dude, that's so crazy that you're up there. I can't hear you at all. I can't hear you at all that you're up there. There's so much static. What are you saying? Tomo experiences odd interference when attempting to phone Hiro. And did you see it? But someone appears to be peeking out at him from a dark doorway. Yeah, okay. <laughs> In my video I did about little that little shriveled up alien guy. Didn't I mention the fact that every time somebody sees like an incredible ghost, apparition, alien, a really big foot? First of all, put a shoe on that foot for God's sakes. I don't want to see that thing. The video is always like really blocky. This definitely does look like a person. I mean, it's not uncommon for a video this blocky to just like see stuff that isn't there, but it definitely looks like a guy. The most charitable way to interpret this currently is that number one, he found an attic. I know it might be shocking, but there are places with attics. Number two, his phone doesn't work. Number three, one of his friends is peeking through a doorway or it could be a stranger. You know, if you really want to assume that they're telling the truth here, it could be a person who's in the house and is like, hey, this is my place that I'm hanging out in. What are you doing here? We're only two minutes into this video, by the way. Tomo heads down to the car to meet up with Hiro. Once he's gone, a static camera captures something absolutely terrifying. You'll be absolutely terrified when you see what this static camera captured. This static camera made a speech to its high school graduation class. You won't believe its teacher's reactions. Okay, I am kind of scared of this. Oh. Ah, ah, oh, oh my god. So it is actually nighttime here. And I'll be honest, when I see a little creepy picture, it really scares me. 
and it's dark down here. It spooked me silly. I'm not gonna lie. This is a creepy visual right here. But I don't, it's not, a, it doesn't need to be a ghost. It's a person. It's a person I'm afraid of, you know? I'm afraid that some guy is gonna be staring at me like that. What do you want, dude? Signal, Signal lost. Be... Signal lost. The camera just stops recording. I love when my camera stops recording and gives me this beautiful text that uh, is definitely what a camera outputs. Shocking. So could this be the apparition of the woman who went mad inside the house? Probably. Or just who or what is this? What? It looks like a person. Imagine, if you will, a terrifying reality, okay? You walk into a room and you see this, someone standing there. Is your first reaction going to be, what is that? What is that? No, it's gonna be, who are you? And what are you doing here? What is that? Is that a piece of furniture that somebody installed in my house when I wasn't here? What is that? Is that a new TV? Is that a reclining chair right there? No, it's a person. Meanwhile, on TikTok. Ooh, TikTok user Tim okay. Saver says that he's a new night guard at an undisclosed facility. He says that he's the only guard willing to work the night shift and for good reason. This is the start of like every SCP story I've ever read. In the dead of night. <laughs> But no one knows why. Okay. Over the course of the next week, Tim begins to understand where most of the activity in the building takes place. An hour into the recording, this happens. What's gonna happen? There's an arrow that appeared. <laughs> the arrow came up and I'm like, what, did an arrow appear? And this guy's like, he's doing his night shift and there's just like an arrow floating in the air. Yeah, I'd be concerned about that too. But literally as I'm pausing, let's unpause and see what the situation is. Oh, that's it? I mean. Opens and closes on its own. Oh my God. Gathering his courage, Tim grabs a ladder and climbs up into the attic to investigate. Okay. Opens next is downright chilling. You will pitch a hissy fit after you see what this ghost did. Did I see a figure back there? Ooh. Is there somebody back here in the corner? Ooh. What? What is that? Is that, a, is that a flat screen TV? Do you know what it looks like to me? It looks like a handheld vacuum cleaner wearing sunglasses. Avery, can you put an illustration of what I'm hallucinating? Oh, oh, I see it. It's like a little statue. Okay. Okay, this is a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> they circled it again. You can circle that little statue as many times as you want. It's not gonna change the fact that it's totally meaningless. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, there was a hand. I told you, Nuke, I had a few hands and you, oh my God. This does scare me, but not for any supernatural reasons. A creepy pale hand seems to come out of nowhere and wraps around a small statue sitting on the attic. Wait, did he say a creepy pale hand? A creepy pale hand seems to come out of it's nowhere. Not... There appears to be no arm or no body attached to the hand. Yeah, it's really crazy how like there's the hand here and then there's this huge piece of metal covering it and then there's nothing over here. It's crazy. It's almost like there's something behind this metal thing here. Tim quickly gets out of there. Yeah, get out of there, Tim. So is it real or is it all just an elaborate TikTok hoax? Nuke always calls hoaxes elaborate. He'll always be like, well, it's either a ghost or somebody put together an elaborate ruse to do a hoax to prank you. I'll leave it up to you. It's either a ghost or somebody did something really crazy and elaborate. It's not elaborate. It's just, it's nothing. I mean, all the, what is this? This is like a little figurine of some kind. TikTok user Brianna's videos Ooh, are mostly dedicated okay. to- Okay, this is the one from the thumbnail. Off the coast of sunny Florida. Whoa, now, that's Now, none of sick. Brianna's videos have anything to do with the supernatural. Here's something truly chilling. I was not promised this. Do you see, do you see this thing right there? That is not a pretty explainable hissing noise. That is a face.
it doesn't really sound like screaming. Like I'm no ocean expert. It could really easily be a wild animal. It could be a bunch of things. There's all kinds of stuff underwater that make noise. When those people in that little pod uh, imploded. There was like sonar buoys that picked up like a knocking sound every 30 minutes. So people thought they were, you know, stuck underneath there. I thought that, but turns out it was just, uh, they don't know what the knocking was. It was something else. It, it, what is it? It's an evil mermaid or something like screaming. Like, I don't understand. Brianna starts to panic as she hears loud distress. She starts to panic. I don't, she doesn't. Brianna's face here is pure, like relaxation and bliss this entire time. The video straight out of my GoPro. So this is a good strategy for her to do, I think. Um, I will say that my understanding is you could doctor a video and then put it onto a GoPro and have the GoPro play it. But that being said, I do think she's probably telling the truth. I think it was probably some kind of natural phenomenon. I mean, it's definitely interesting. It's definitely weird. I'm not hissing a pitch fit or what, what did he say? <laughs> Pitching a hissy fit. I'm definitely not doing that. Also, is she driving? <laughs> Going down the road and you just look over and you see somebody who is holding a GoPro and holding their phone recording the GoPro. And then just, just the car is just like, Bruh! I'm sure she's not doing that, but still. Many viewers believe that she might have captured the eerie final screams of the ghost of someone who didn't survive the wreck. Is that what your final screams would sound like? I don't want to get too morbid here because that's not like, that's scary stuff. I don't want to think about it, but that noise, let me see if I can replicate that noise. It sounded more like a kettle boiling over than a scream. Nuke, I just, come on, man. Come on, man. What are you doing here? What are we doing here, huh? The strange underwater screams are absolutely unnerving absolutely unnerving nuke calm down buddy it's all right we don't have to go in the ocean if you don't want to okay we can cancel our swim trip if you're concerned it's all right it is said that at least 13 ghosts haunt the old inn and let hotel guests experience it as well wow my gosh relax a cynical person would sit here and be like, you know, a haunted hotel would be like, a, it's that's like a profitable story. People would want to go there and like stay there, but I'm not a cynical person. Harry, along with his friends and fellow paranormal investigators installed 16 live cameras to record multiple angles of every room in the hotel. Okay. Visitors can now rent rooms to explore in Every room of the hotel? <laughs> And some creepy guy like sets up an Airbnb and like puts every a camera in every corner. And it's just like, oh, it's for ghosts. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. I was just looking at ghosts. Maybe this is not a hotel like you sleep in necessarily. This is like more of an extended haunted house tour, perhaps. I guess Kirsty is filled with fear when she is asked to investigate the hotel's cellar all by herself. Oh my God. While she's down there alone in the dark, something happens that scares the living sh out of her. Oh my God. <sighs> <laughs> oh, this poor woman. I mean, it would be scary to be down in this, like, the cellar. A generator. A generator. <laughs> okay. The eerie silence is suddenly broken by a loud roar as the hotel's generator <laughs> turns. Poor woman. Why would you do that? <laughs> I don't know what was that. I didn't see anything happen. She just screamed and ran out. Well, something has happened here off camera that has made her now run out of the cellar. Forever going in a cellar ever again. Right, so we saw- <laughs> This is so stupid. <laughs> I gotta be honest here. I'm slowly losing my mind. I say we do one last clip here. Um, I'm kind of gonna skip to the end here because I thought this kind of this kind of stood out. But something downright chilling. Okay. Rita, go turn on the light. What? It's literally a guy in a sheet. That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Cats are scared. Look at the I gotta ask, like, how does how can Nuke how does Nuke buy this? Spooky. Oh my god. Spooky. Oh my god. It's moving. 
All right, well, there you have it. That was pretty stupid. I'm gonna leave it there for now, but I think we can all take comfort in the fact that all these videos can probably be explained in a multitude of different ways. But do let me know if you want to take a look at other um, videos from Nuke. Um, he has all kinds of videos and I find it just endlessly fascinating. Um, the kind of stuff that he's able to to pick up on because it's typically like really obviously fake. Um, yeah, so um, I guess that's it. Um, and be sure to subscribe. Thanks.